first off, a good insurance company that apparently wants to stay that way, Aetna bailing out of offering individual insurance plans in California. Now, it's not immediate. It won't be for everyone, but it's a start and could ultimately affect certainly all Californians. Aetna says it's because of this health care law and more to the point how California wants to administer the law. Too costly, too cumbersome, too much. You don't appear to be too shocked. It's interesting. I'm, as you know, Neil, I'm a pretty strong free markets guy. There's a little element of this that is actually, I believe, pro-consumer, which is insurance companies have a very complex subject matter and they've got a big information advantage over consumers. And so this idea of the exchange, which says, hey, you guys have to sell a standardized package or four standardized packages so that everybody can see apples to apples price comparisons, that's not a bad idea. And so I don't kind of feel badly about California doing that. What is bad is California's done it in a way that says, we're not gonna let you sell niche products, or it's, let's say you could be the guy who could best serve pet shop owners. Hmm. We don't care. We're, we, you gotta sell it to everybody, and at this price only, or you're out of here. I think they only had about 4% of the market, and they basically said, well, we're out of here. So to yeah, Gary's it's point, it. yeah. it's not good for consumers. Uh, issue two, FedEx, no more. FedEx out with much better than expected earnings, uh, though kind of so-so revenues. But analysts did call it a clear turnaround and a sign that maybe this global economy is turning around. It's a good news, bad news thing with them. I, I think the revenue was up a little bit, but not to expectations. Right, right. And, and on that front, I would say, yeah, that's not a good signal about the economy. You're not seeing a big beating but heart of But it was down healthiness. abroad. Um, now, not to, as much down abroad as they feared, but it was still down. It, the speaking of, it was down. of a quagmire not getting any less quaggy. That's right. Here's yeah. a little piece of good news in it. They're a leader among all U.S. companies in using technology to drive costs out of their service equation. And they, the fact that they're continuing to do that is that that's a good sign because everybody needs to do that. All right. Uh, finally, if at first you don't succeed, find a better way to get them to spend. Well, Walmart, all but admitting the obvious, its attempt to dislodge online retailer Amazon.com from its pricely and princely perch failed. So Walmart is giving it another e-tailing go, promising to revamp its site, make it a lot easier and friendlier to use at all. Dave, too little too late, or do they still have time? It's hard to say. Look, I'm a big Walmart fan. There's one like a half mile from my house and I spend a lot of time there and I like the company and I like the way they do things. It's hard when you're not built for a given purpose to go repurpose your company to do that. You can drive nails with a croquet mallet, but that doesn't mean I've that's that. the best way to drive. I've actually done the best that. way to drive nails, yeah. right? And so when when Amazon is built for e-tailing, it's hard to catch up with them unless you can somehow leapfrog them and so far Guys built for big box retailing haven't figured out how to leapfrog Amazon. All right, guys. Thank you both very much. Good seeing you again.